Hey guys, well I've been promising to make something and um, the Frankenstein uh, kind of device. I'm um, just powering off a little power bank that I used off the uh, reclaimed laptop batteries that I've got around. Um, designed this kind of very basic but at the moment it's um, using no soldering. Um, in practicality if you were using it you'd want it to be a lot smaller. Um, I do accept that. But just for the purposes of a proof of concept or better description, um, I've kind of just used breadboard. Um, I actually went as far as using a relay, but you maybe it's just want to use a, a transistor, a transistor or a, a MOSFET maybe if you're using a bit more powerful motor. Um, the one component I am missing, which um, I need to go to the um, local hardware store, is at the moment the motor. Um, it sits there and it um, won't pump water at all. But you can hear it when it starts going, so you know that it's um, it, it, it's kicking in. Um, the plant is <laughs> past its uh, best. Um, it maybe it could be resurrected. That was something that was sitting outside. And um, the reason I brought that in is I needed something to test genuine soil with the, um, the moisture sensor. So it's a bit of a mishmash. So I hope this comes across okay. So what we've got at the moment is um, an Arduino Uno. Um, I've got the breadboard, um, I'm powering everything from the power bank as I mentioned so I've got one of these little breadboard powering devices, a great pan 50 off uh, eBay. Um, I've got the soil moisture sensor here, a simple two probe type, um, which comes down and you've got four pins on those, um, you've got VCC and ground. Um, I believe this model can take either um, 3.3 or 5 volts um, and then the other two pins you've got a D0 and an A0 and that's um, digital 0 and analog 0 um, I've kept this as simple as I could so I've went for digital 0 um, and then that means you can just in your Arduino code you can do a digital read and you can read that pin that it's hooked up to on the Arduino and then you as your uh, name suggests, you, you get a, um, a digital readout, so it's either going to be a zero or a one. Um, you notice the there's two LEDs on on that currently, if you can tell in here. Um, one of those is the power LED, which is permanently on, which is a bit of a shame because it's going to be drawing power constantly. But you know, you could cut the track to that. And um, the other pin is to indicate that there is moisture in the soil. So at the moment, the circuit is just um, not doing anything because there is moisture there. Um, so you can see there's then VCC and ground, we've just hooked it up. I'm actually powering it from the 3.3 power rail here, but like I say, it can work off 3.3 or 5 volts. Um, and then I've got the small orange wire there, goes from here on the breadboard to pin D2. Now I'll post a link to the code later on. The code is extremely simple. Um, you'd want to maybe beef it up, get a bit more fancy if you actually wanted to use this in practicality. Um, so yeah, pin two, uh, pin three, on the Arduino, then goes to the relay board. Relay board. Apologies, can't from my teeth today. Um, and the relay board also gets um, power, um, which is powered directly from the VCC and ground on the breadboard, just taking five volts there. Um, then what you have out of the relay, um, you've got a common pin and you've got one side is normally open and one side is normally closed. Um, you'll only want to use one of the other, so you'll always use common and then you'll use normally open or normally closed depending on how your circuit's operating. So in this fashion, um, oh, just knock that off. Again, I've went to the lens of you would never use these, but it's just a, um, the crocodile clips just to rig it up. Um, the positive comes from the breadboard, goes into the common, um, that then goes to the normally open, so it's an open circuit, um, comes in and then that's linked into red red, that's the positive on the pump. Now that's a submersible pump so you're not meant to run it dry, so you keep that submerged in the water the whole time, and the way this works is, I'll try and not get my work surface too wet. Um, the output is here and the input is here. Um, it does have a nice flat surface so you could mount it. Um, probably better off mounting it in that fashion so it can pull straight in and then 
out the um, exhaust as it were. Um, but when it's there, you can hear when it kicks in, and it seems to work okay. Um, and then for the relay, that's the connection. Um, so basically, it's connecting that um, positive wire to this wire um, as you determine, um, and then ground is always permanently connected to the motor. So that crocodile clip goes to here. Um, just another one of these jumper wires just to make it male and then that goes into the breadboard again on the 5 volts. Um, the only other two wires I have which you could argue if you need them or not is pin 4, pin 5 um, I've just got those hooked into the um, negative line on the um, LEDs and I've done a green LED and a red LED um, when things are normal it's the green LED um, so if your plant doesn't need water it's healthy in a sense I guess it's um, well there's moisture in the soil um, so it's green um, and then basically I've done a small program that monitors um, every second it pulls the moisture sensor um, if it detects that it's um, it's went high so the, the soil is dry then what it does is it then starts the pump for 10 seconds like I say usually you have a, a tube from here to the top of your plant pot um, and then what that will do is just basically pump water in for 10 seconds. It's extremely simple, you know, your mileage may vary. You probably want to do something a bit more advanced, you know, there's a lot of things that you might want. Only want water you're planting in a, um, when it's dark in an evening, so you could put a, an LDR on there, you know, a light dependent resistor. You could get a lot more fancy, but at the moment, that's the way it works. So, for testing, what I can do is, if I take this out and if I dry these off, um, You'll notice the second LED has went out on the board and then what that will mean is that the pump will then kick in and as with all great things that you show live it hasn't for some reason. Um, let me quickly check these. You'll notice the difference anyway there when I plug that in, the LED comes on straight away, comes off. It is as instantaneous as that. Um, I'll just check these connections. Okay, what I'll maybe do is, um, I was going to switch the camera off there, but I may as well do this on camera. Um, I've put some uh, sort of basic debugging statements into the uh, Arduino code um, and just write it out the serial port. So if you're going to run serial monitor, you'll be able to see these when you output it. Um, again, you can check the code not really required but it's a uh, handy in situations like these so if I come around here and if I plug this in okay okay now you notice that's sprung in life straight away so I wonder if that's a power issue um, I'll have to check the way I've wired things up it should be drawing everything off of the power bank um, could be that the current draws too low for the power bank to then kick in and maybe I've just started it there so um, you know, appears to check your power source. What it's going to do is that motor is just going to keep running and running because at the moment it thinks that the soil is never getting wet. Um, so that, it is an extremely simple circuit but what it does mean is that if you put this in a, um, a, a pot um, and ram the tube into it and it was extremely dry, you know, it, it wouldn't just do for 10 seconds and then wait, it would just do 10 seconds, wait a second, test it again and then it would keep on doing it in 10 second intervals until the plant pot was watered enough where the sensor um, was tripped and then it would stop watering it um, and then it should be a good while before that evaporated enough the way it needs to water so if I insert that back into the soil which is extremely moist the other LED is kicked in 
there. And it was mid watering cycle, so what it does is it, it'll keep on going until it finishes its cycle. Because that LED is lit there now, it'll not water. So if then I remove that, again, just kick straight in, it'll do a 10 second cycle. If I do that, catch it before the end of the cycle, and it stops. And if you notice the LEDs are kicking in there, so it's green now, I'll do that again, just for the purposes of that. Red LED kicks in, starts to water, um, do that. The sensor's tripped again to know that there's enough water there. Green LED, you know everything's alright. Um, I'll post the code up. Um, feel free to have a, a look, pull it apart. Um, I'm not an Arduino expert coding wise by any means, so um, be really um, happy for your input. I'm going to refine this a bit more because I do actually plan to use this. Um, in my home, cause I've got a couple of plant pots that um, it would just be handy to do and if I travel it would be great, you know, you, you forget the odd day um, so yeah, anyway, when I refine it more I'll put up another Indestructible and uh, I'll show you guys. Thank you very much, bye!